All right, back here in uh, Steel Rising, episode 18, and uh, I've made it back to our original uh, place here on the map. Uh, we don't have to go back and kill the enemies. Killing enemies is just uh, to get the animal from them. So what you can do is, if you get killed, you, you get uh, reset back to the vesture. But that gate that we opened earlier from the other side, you can uh, go through there and... Just uh, move on. You don't have to go back and kill your enemies just to waste here a vial, normal vial or anything like that, you just can move on here so we're gonna unlock that gate down there and uh, yeah we are back here at our vestral of course now, if you want to, you can uh, kill the enemies, but that will just give you a headache and some more anima, which you probably don't want to do. It's up to you if you if you want to kill your enemies, go back there and kill them. It's up to you, but for me, it's just a, a little bit of a headache here. That is where we came from earlier. The the, the fire here. You go up there. To the building, to that uh, there's a building up there. You end up on the other side. You've seen that in the in the previous video. <laughs> All right. So I think here was the. Um, the Lancer from earlier. That might have been the place where the Lancer was. Let's see what we have down here. Okay, we have a flame grenade. Cool, cool. There's uh, that guy there. He's uh, he's very annoying. Another one there. Just trying to avoid them as much as we can. That's here. Okay, he's he saw me already. No, he he's not he's not gonna back off. You may fight him. Yeah, was he gonna turn? Yeah. If you see what I mean. So let's see if we can just uh Escape him. The down throw here. All right, let's see what's up here. Yeah, I don't know what what. Don't know what tools they're talking about there. Oh, we've got shit, 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 shit. Let's go this way. I don't want to get seen by that guy up there.
Get out of here. That was close. Either of us dead. Oh. Whoa. Vicious. Motherfucker. Yes, we got him. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. See what we got here. Oh. Let's see if we, if we can get him as well. You son of a... That hurt. Yes, we got that burger. <laughs> Got him. I was gonna check what's uh, what's here. Yeah, you need a tool. Not sure what tool you need though. What tool are you talking about? I wonder. Um, it's probably none of them. Yeah, not not sure here. Can we pick up those hammers here? Maybe no we can't. No. I wonder how easy those are to get. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't want to get hit by one of those. Uh, I can capsules again, okay? Let's uh, have a look in the inventory, not the inventory, but the uh, journal codex to see what they are. Um, they don't. What is that? A heavy prototype, okay? That was the one that we. Uh, just killed the one with the fire axe. That's a heavy prototype. Okay, the most uh, powerful automat in its class. The heavy prototype is capable of wielding supremely devastating weapons. Yeah, that axe there. What you're talking about? Due to the need to produce a large number of automat soldiers quickly, prototypes have not received the same treatment as 
their more sophisticated counterparts. All right, cool, cool. What do we have here on notes? That one there. You guys like to read that? Might be a little bit interesting. I'm going to read it off camera. So, all right, some inventory. A module key. But like I said here, we need um, equipment modules. Yeah, we need to save up two more to get three keys because we need to unlock uh, another module slot here with the third key. So we need three keys to unlock another module slot. All right. Okay, I wasn't aware of him coming. My way. What do we have here? Ah, we have a, a box over there. A crate. Where is... Okay. We're going to open up that crate here and see what's in it. But before that, we're going to go for those burgers. Get away from there. Okay, that's one. Okay, that came from the back. Okay. <laughs> See what they look like. They look pretty cool graphics wise. They're, they're nicely modeled up and a nice uh, texture to them, a copper type texture on them. Nice. Alright. Let's open up that crate. See what we get. A great two efficient charging module, okay? Let's see what that module is all about. Module. Um, that one there, I think it is, is that? That one, yeah. A great two efficient charging module. We have a stable module here as well. This module moderately increases balance during the charged attacks. Okay, that one. Uh, physical cause by a successful fully charged attack. All right, cool. But we need to upgrade our module slots first, I believe, so we can. We have two of them, and we have two of them. You see the number here, so we need to upgrade our module slots. I think to be able to use our new modules here. Yeah, the key. All right, brilliant. Glad we found that. We can either go probably that way or we're going to check out the gate first. Blocked. Yeah, can't, can't do that. I think what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kill the enemies first before you can open the gate. What does that say? Dear Jack, I have been waiting for you for over an hour and cannot wait any longer. They are fighting at the Invalidus, no more than 60 yards from where I stand now, okay? Yeah, I will not stand idle by and watch my countrymen die. My pistols are loaded and the makeshift bridge we built will hold long enough uh, for me to reach them, alright? Hope you will be able to find me soon and join the fight alongside us. If by misfortune you arrive too late, please be so kind as to comment 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 my soul to god so we're gonna have to be there in time i wonder can we take them from behind 
No, we can't. Because uh, they saw me first. Yeah, I switch back to the um to the discus chain because my discus chain is leveled up to level two, and the fire chain is still at level one and, and it's not uh, doing enough damage for me. So I switch back to the uh, to the discus chain. Um, don't think we're gonna get across there. Yeah, I don't like going back there and killing all the enemies again just to get my animal. Um, I hope we can find a new vesture where we can uh, uh, save our game. Okay, let's see what we have back here first. It's always worth looking uh, where we can find upgrades are one of these guys here. Explosive grenade, another one. It's always worth looking around if you can find any goodies that you can uh, pick up or whatnot and if you can then uh, you're practically good to go okay that was where we can't get through but we can probably open that here from the other side I'd imagine which is gonna be coming up here and then uh, let's go up here and have a look Yeah, I think uh, that gate over there, we can open it from this side here. So let's uh, do this. And grab this guy here. Module key. Oh, come on. Why can't we pick that up? That is so annoying. I hope that's not a bug in the game. Now we did it. That was a module key. Now we have two module keys. So once we find another vestral and another module key, then uh, I'll be able to upgrade my modules. Or module slots, whichever. We will find that out when I do it. Yes, we can open the gate. That is awesome. Pick up. Come on, pick, pick, pick it up. An ordinary oil boil. Back to 36. I had about 50. A little bit over 50. Had to waste a few. <laughs> Alright, let's open that gate then. Nice. Explanada the... What does that say up there? Explanated this invalidus. Okay. Okay, new part of the map then. Cool. Let's uh, go this way and uh, check it out. Okay, let's see how far here we we'll come. Probably not far. Where is he? I like to get on top of that carriage. I wonder what what you can do here. Ah, uh, you can you can you can pick it up, and we've got seen as well. Damn it. I wonder what he will do when I'm on.
can't believe that I have to go all the way over here. Get off. Okay, let's see if I can uh Don't think he can get up, get up here. No. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this. We're gonna. Shut up, Someone's coming. Oh no, no! Another one of the evil machines. Yeah, don't think they can follow us in here. That's annoying. That it that they didn't put a, a vesture in here. I should have put a vestrel in here, but right. Me. Son There's drama to burger thing. Puny, puny. Dude. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here. Alright. Let's have a look at these guys here. I thought we could uh, do something to them, but we can't. They're only cool looking statues. 
Uh, yeah, they're sort of cool looking though. They're very, very cool. Imagine uh, making one of these guys here in real life. You probably could make them. If you're... If you can work with metal and copper and all that, you could probably make one of these guys. They would probably, probably look very, very cool sitting in your living room as, a, as an ornament or as a decoration or something like that. That would look probably pretty cool to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna get onto one of these. Stand here. Somewhere. And we're gonna call this video. Don't that that would probably look as a cool screenshot. So thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.